thought it'd be funny to uh, do a video tonight. I uh, went to a Republican fundraiser hosted by Lynn Shaney tonight and uh, went with a friend of mine. And it was uh, pretty interesting. Met Lynn Shaney, met the uh, <clears throat> met Dan uh, Muser, our uh, Republican congressman. It was uh, it was a nice time. Met you know saw some people I'd known, some you know political types that I knew. That uh, but the uh, it was really a a meet and greet. If you want to actually be involved, you kind of have to go to these things. Um, usually I'm dressed like, you know, a semi-homeless person doing construction and can't do it. Can't get a picture, but I'm actually in a suit and tie tonight. I can actually dress up and look like I live indoors. Um, but it's, it's important to get involved. It's important to know who represents you. It's important to shake their hand, look in their eyes, and let them know that they're, they're real people. You know, everybody's lining up, taking pictures with Lynn Shaney, and I didn't take a, I didn't get a picture taken with her. Um, $150 a plate, I skipped the picture. But I walked over and talked to her later and said, you know, you really don't want a picture floating around with, you know, you and I in it together because I may uh, assault a uh, somebody like Chuck Schumer, and you don't want that picture showing up and it turning into some kind of scandal. And she laughed, and she said, well, that's uh, that's actually what really should happen. Um, but the fact of the matter is that it's important to go to your, your local political meetings, know who the hell is actually representing you. Uh, I built a bakery one time on a building that was collapsing. It was a historic building, but it was actually falling down. Uh, we put it back together, and it attracted a lot of local attention. So people started showing up. And one of the people that showed up was our state assemblyman. And he was talking to me, and he's telling me how he loves, you know, building renovations and old houses and old buildings and whatever. And then he went to the person that owned it who was opening a bakery, and he told him how he loved, you know, artisan bread and great food and great chefs and everything. And I explained after he had left... <clears throat> the uh the owner said you know yeah he really he's really into you know bread and everything that he had going on i said believe it or not if you told him you were into fuzzy kittens he would be into fuzzy kittens and if you told him you were into snakes and feeding the snakes fuzzy kittens he would think that's a great idea and that's what he would do if he had snakes he would feed them fuzzy kittens too politicians kind of tell you whatever the hell they think is gonna make you vote for them and that's just the nature of that beast. Um, and it's a good idea to get used to it. Very few actually give a shit what they're, uh, what they're telling you. You know, they're, they're going to agree with you 100%. Whatever you're into, they're into. As long as you vote for them, that's all that matters. Um, so it is important to go face to face. Put your money down. Go eat a second-rate meal at whatever the hell. This was actually at a golf course. Some of the food was good. Some of it was kind of marginal. The desserts were nice. The bar was free for a while. But, uh, and then the free bar closed and the drinks were absorbent. But anyway, um, it's important to go and meet these people. It's important to go to your community, whatever your township meetings, your borough meetings. It's important to, to show your face. And look at these people because those are the faces that they're going to remember when they have to make a decision regarding what they're going to do with you. Are they going to raise your taxes or are they going to cut services or are they going to uh, figure a way to do it better like it was their money and they were doing it on their own house or their own property? Are they going to find the cheapest guy or are they going to give it to their brother-in-law who's going to rip them off? Um, you know. It, it's very important to do these things. And uh, so we'll make a short video. One, letting everybody see that I don't always look homeless. And, uh, and the other one, with my views on why it's important to do these things. Y'all have a good night.